Hi Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for June. Now just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will. If you want a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances and uh, the questions you'd really like to ask, I'll leave the link on this video and in the description box below. Yeah, If you want to win a personal reading with me, I have a monthly competition on my uh, website. You just opt into my blog which is free and get some more great content from me. Yeah. And you go into the monthly draw to win a 30 minute personal reading with me, yeah? Valued at, uh, I think it's around $50, yeah? All right, cool. All right, so I'm gonna do something different for you for your mid month. I'm gonna do you a nine card spread on the past, present, and future, and then some general guidance around your energies, things that you need to know. And most excitingly, I've picked up a new deck today, which is all about connecting to your higher spirituality and divinity, yeah? It's got some amazing messages. I hope you're excited. Now, you can see anything wafting across the screen we've got uh, frankincense incense burning and working with some crystals as well um so got two for protection today because i just felt we needed it yeah um got hematite we've got black tourmaline i've also got amethyst um which is all for meditation yeah as well got a, a brand new jade one because i lost my other jade crystal i had to go and get one today i'm like i'm so missing my jade crystal so yes we've got a new one i'll show it to you show it to you it's gorgeous yeah it's um, kind of too tiny. It's really, really nice. Um, we've got Moonstone, which is all about cycles and rhythms and our chi energy, yeah. And uh, Citrine for success, of course, and Clear Crystal Quartz to amp everything up, yeah. Now, I am filming outside, so if we hear a little bit of background noise, you know where we are, yeah. And it has occasionally been raining here, so we could hear a little bit of rain and some birds. We'll see. All right. So I'm going to do your nine card spread with the angel tarot deck yeah and um let's see what comes up all right so first up so this is the situation yeah so you've pulled the high priestess which is archangel haniel and it's basically just saying to listen to your intuition um particularly in terms of decision making um consider carefully what it is that you want before you take action yeah so if you've got any decisions that you need to make <laughs> thoroughly think them through yeah so what is the challenge all right mm, okay so you pull the three of fire which um yeah, i'm gonna say to you it's totally gorgeous it's the inflow of abundance um things are looking very good so if they were a little bit stuck before just know that things are changing but i guess the challenge in this is to have patience yeah have patience and make some long-term plans so the challenge i guess is if you're not really good at goal setting it's about to take time to do some goal setting yeah or think about what it is that you want you can put it out there to the universe in terms of manifestation but just know that things are going to change if they've been a bit tough yeah all right let's have a look what is the basis of the situation what does sagittarius need to know mm, yeah okay you pull the knight of fire so Basically, this means that things are going to happen really fast. It could be a sudden event that needs your um, attention. Yeah. Um, again, it's really about considering your options and thinking things through carefully, even though you have, might need to make a decision on the fly reasonably quickly. Yeah. All right. What this is uh, the next one is all about the recent past. What does Sagittarius need to know? Mm, okay. So you pull the five of earth, which is fears surrounding money, um, your finances, fears around um, uncertain self-employment. Yeah, um, the guidance on that was is the wisdom to accept help from others. And that can just be in terms of support, expressing your fears. Um, it's in the past. It's sitting in the past position. So just know that things uh, in terms of the other cards that you pulled are looking up. Yeah. All right. The next one I'm going to pull for you is all about the present. Mm, wow. So, Archangel Shamiel, life experience. There's going to be, if there isn't already, you might already be going through it because it is the present, yeah, significant life event that you're dealing with. Um, perhaps truth's coming out, a powerful revelation that's going to lead to change. Um, it's time to spread your wings. Try and time to spread your wings, yeah. Take the steps you're guided to take in terms of transforming anything you need to transform in your life whether it's career, whether it's love life, home situation, you know what it is intrinsically, yeah. All right, this next one is about the near future. 
Wow, cool. There's definitely some news coming in. There's definitely some news coming in. Um, Page of Fire, news of an exciting new um, adventure or endeavor. Um, yeah, it's about, it's saying to use your uh, creativity, your innovation, your ingenuity, yeah. Cool. Don't forget to pop your comments in the comment box below. So if you find in the next two weeks you've got some exciting new opportunity that's come in for you, come back and let us know, yeah? We'll all high-five you in the comments box. Um, okay, so this is your energy in the situation, yeah? Um, you pull the three of water. So I'll bring it closer. It's very beautiful. There's some cups in the water there as well as a gorgeous uh, couple of dolphins, yeah. And what it says is a celebration, the announcement of a wedding, um, graduation possibly, birth announcement. So it might be a new baby coming in the family. Um, the need to have more fun, lighten up a bit, yeah. When that comes out, it kind of pretends more to something happening in your own family, yeah. All right, this is the energy and influence of the people around you. Okay. So you pulled Strength, which is Archangel Ariel, and um, it's about perhaps the people around you have got great inner strength. Lean on them for support, yeah. Um, it's releasing harsh judgments about others, forgiveness and compassion. That might be the need, the message of coming through is you needing to forgive the people in your circle, um, giving them a bit more leeway, yeah. Not being so tough on them, Sagittarius. Maybe not being so tough on yourself either. All right, hopes and fears. What does Sagittarius need to know? Mm. So basically just says that skilled work is rewarded, learning all you need to know, perhaps going back to school in terms of studying something new, um, learning all there is to learn about a topic. Um, yeah, particularly if you want to advance. Let me know if that's something you're doing or thinking about. All right. And what is the outcome? What does Sagittarius need to know? So many want to come out. Okay. You've got the Hermit card. So this is about retreating, taking some time for self, taking time for contemplation, meditation, self-discovery, learning more about yourself. Yeah. Um, this is all about balancing yourself out too as well. Um, tapping into spirituality. Quiet, particularly if you've got all this new stuff coming in that's going to be coming in quite rapidly. You might need to uh, take a bit of a pause and a breather to catch your breath. All right, I'm going to pull your general energies, yeah? Up next. And let's see what you need to know. So I'm going to be looking and pulling you some cards from the Goddess Guidance deck. It's one of my favourites, I have to say. That's some really cool messages. All right. Mm. Okay, first up you pulled Hathor, receptivity. This is about the allowance of yourself to receive. So when this comes out, it's often that you've done a lot of work. You've been working solidly on your goals, your dreams, your your uh, ideas and your projects. And um, it's about, about allowing yourself to sit back now and receive from others, particularly if you're somebody that does a lot for other people. Um, yeah, conserve your energy and allow people to give to you. Mm, because right next to that, clear message, green tower, start delegating. Sagittarius, you've been doing way too much, yeah. Uh, you can't do it all on your own. You shouldn't have to do it all on your own. Whether this applies to work or at home, get people to pitch in. But you've got to speak up. They don't know unless you speak up, yeah. Mm. This also came out of Pisces. And leap of faith. Um... It's about taking risks, putting into you to follow your heart's desires, your dreams, your goals, um, taking action towards them as well. I will let you know, I'm recording this on the 13th of June, which is the new moon. Yeah, kind of exciting. Mm. You've also got Ishtar boundaries. I have to say this also came out for Pisces, but in a different deck. Um, this is about protecting your energy levels, saying no to things that um, you don't want to do uh, and standing up for yourself. You might also, perhaps, if you're going to take a leap of faith, you might have to put healthy boundaries in with people that are naysayers, yeah, to protect your goals and dreams and to go for them. 
All right, two came out for you then. I'm going to pull them both. You pulled Maeve, which is, um, I hope you can see that, the sun just come through. Um, it's all about cycles and rhythms. This is about listening to your energy levels, um, knowing when you're tired and take a rest, knowing when you need to take action, yeah. Honouring your body and your emotions. If you're feeling overwhelmed at any particular time, take some time out. Now you've also pulled Lakshmi, bright future. If you've been worrying, stop worrying, yeah. And you also got that confirmation in terms of your nine card spread, yeah, that things are looking up. Cool. All right. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, crystal reading deck, which is all about, it's a healing deck. And let's see what comes out for you. I hope you can see these because they've just got a lot of reflection at the moment from the sun coming through. Okay, this is interesting. So under Hathor receptivity, which is about receiving, you've also got Labradite, take action. So it's about knowing when to take action, um, doing what you need to do, and then sitting back and receiving, yeah. There's a tipping point. There's a tipping point to tapping into your abundance flow. That's to uh, do, 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 and then the, you've got to allow that abundance to come in, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you start delegating... <laughs> you've got peace coming a little bit more peace of mind it's gonna it's gonna help you stop stressing the message coming through solar side there is peace coming if you've been dealing with challenges just know that they're going to resolve themselves yeah um, if you've been worrying stop worrying it's gonna be fine yeah you so need to ground yourself balance and ground yourself um resounding message here hematite just take that time because Things are going to be busy, yeah? Take time for self. Honour the cycles and rhythms of your body. How do you balance and ground yourself? You get out in nature, you do some exercise, do some meditation. Um, wow. Under Ishtar boundaries, you got Tiger's Eye Courage. Um, if you're somebody that's had weak boundaries, don't know how to stand up for yourself, you're going to have to tap into your courage and do it, particularly to set healthy boundaries with people. I'm going to say the message coming through is family. You're going to need to put boundaries in place with family. Could be friends as well. You've also pulled the Master Teacher card, Divine Temple for Source, which means that you're tapping more into spirituality um, in terms of connecting with your spirituality. I'm going to pull you one more because you've got six cards that came out <laughs> in the first deck. Hmm. Under bright future, you've also pulled sunstone empowerment. It's about being empowered, standing in your power, um, leading with your strength and your courage, yeah. Okay, next up I'm going to pull you some guidance from the uh, Nature's Whispers deck. I don't often pull this one out, but I just felt drawn to it today, yeah. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know for the next two weeks? here mm. wow this is interesting um because it's sitting under hathor receptivity as well as labradorite take action acceptance of love let me bring it closer so you can see there's a couple here in this beautiful embrace so the receptivity is all about accepting love yeah accepting love into your life stop pushing it away stop pushing people away um let it in let it in and if you're not in a relationship, it's about taking action to bring more love into your life. Okay. This is sitting under the peace card. Um, it's so beautiful, yeah. Um, this angel, she's actually painting a beautiful picture of what she wants her life to look like. Um, it's this perfect setting. When this comes out, it's all about creating a bit of an oasis at home, yeah, um, where you can just relax and unwind. Something beautiful. So you come on and it lights you up. It doesn't have to be fancy. That's too fancy, but something. Mm. You've pulled, which is so gorgeous. Um, be true to yourself, yeah. So um, it's sitting under leap of faith about following your dreams and your goals, yeah. Be yourself. Trust your goals and your dreams. Be true to your heart, it says. Um, yeah. Follow what lights you up. And uh, you've also got uh, Let Love Be Your Beacon. It's sitting under healthy boundaries, putting healthy boundaries in place, as well as um, courage. So um, 
it's about leading with love and compassion in this instance, but also about trusting, trusting what's doing what's right for you. All right, so I'm super excited now to pull you some guidance from the new deck that I got today, which is uh, it's the Lightworker Oracle, yeah, it's by Alana Fairchild. And uh, if you've listened to any of my other readings, you know I'm a big fan of hers because she just does decks that have the most amazing guidance, yeah. Uh, this is this deck, I was drawn to it actually, because I think if you're watching my channel, it, you tapped into your spirituality, yeah, you are. And this is going to tap you in more. It's all about raising your divinity and your connection to spirit, yeah. Oh, wow. Pool number eight, the star child. It's sitting under the source card. Um, and if you've ever thought about being um, doing something in terms of your spirituality, in terms of your career, this is going to be a double bonus message for you, yeah. But I will say for those of you that aren't interested in doing that kind of work, that just take the messages from it that come out, yeah. Just take whatever resonates with you. All right, what else does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, clear message there. Mm, okay. You pulled, these cards are so beautiful. You pulled Macabre, hopefully I can say that correctly. These are new, yeah? Macabre Spiritual Protection. Um, I have to say to you that the Star Child one is just gorgeous. All right, let's have a look at the messages, yeah? I'll show it to you one more time because it'd be so beautiful. Bring it up close, yeah, so you can see it. How amazing is it? It's so gorgeous, yeah? Beautiful. And what it says, Sagittarius, is, The light of the stars exists in you. The earth wants to share this light with humanity. You are asked to understand that you are meant to be here that you have spiritual work to accomplish. Give up the idea that you belong somewhere else, to another home in the stars. Instead, let the starlight of your inner being shine here on earth, where it shall make such a positive difference in this world. Fall in love with the earth's beauty. She can and will support you in all ways. Have you been dreaming of other places you would prefer to be? Are you wondering if there is more to life on this planet than suffering and struggle? Perhaps you know you have a mission, yet you doubt you can succeed. Perhaps you love your life here, but yearn to experience a spiritual purity that exists in the higher vibrational fields of the stars. You may feel like a tourist in need of a fix of your home language to endure adapting to a very different world. Grounding yourself here on earth enables you to fulfill your life's mission. Let me just pull something up for you. <laughs> Hello, grounding. You cannot accomplish this without feeling that you belong here. Your feet need to be planted on the earth. Relax and trust that you are meant to be here. You have a special light to share and a particular spiritual vibration to live so that the quotient of embodied spiritual light on the earth increases. This is about balancing around yourself out in Mother Nature, getting your feet on the earth, yeah? You are part of an important team of spiritual beings working to assist humanity to grow spiritually. The challenge for a star-seeded soul is to accept human beings as they are without despairing over their darker side. The violence may frighten you, but your love will help humanity Learn to use that violence to dismantle old structures and create new ways of being. It can be channeled to energise humanity with a can-do attitude towards creating a more loving and functional world. Remember, you came to this planet to learn and help heal others. You agreed to take this journey because you can assist both the earth and humanity to evolve their frequency. It is possible and you are helping make it so. There are three truths that will help you embrace your journey on this planet. Firstly, you carry the purity of your star ancestry in your heart. Beautiful. You can return through meditation or relaxation at any time. You can often return to your star-born home during sleep. The loved ones from that place are very aware of your journey here and are helping you every step of the way. They send you frequencies from home like divine care packages, which fuel your earthy tasks. Secondly, you are filled with love that you are capable of loving all on this planet. 
you have compassion even for those that are wounded and fearful at times, act out in ways of violence, cruelty and ignorance. Now the human capacity for courage, compassion and light is increasing. Your work as part of a team of light-loving beings is already having an effect. Thirdly, as a star-seeded being, you have special resources for your journey here on Earth. Your every spiritual request and need will be met by a loving team of helpers. You get to have a lot of fun in your healing mission if you so choose. Just remember that the stars shine with joy in the sky and you can shine as a star with joy upon this earth. This is your nature and this is how to best fulfill your life mission. Cool. There's an invocation here and what it says is, I call upon the star wisdom of my own spirit and ask that my love, light, power, presence, protection and assistance shine forth for the highest good. I shine divine beauty and joy in my life now and always. I feel the deep and true connection to my spirit, to the earth and the universe. May love flow through me according to its own intelligence and healing wisdom to all beings upon the earth through divine grace and my own free will. So be it. Wow. Take from that whatever resonates, yeah? Okay, I'm super intrigued to see this one, what the message is, yeah? It's so beautiful. Let me bring it closer. So, the macabre spiritual protection. And hopefully I said that correctly. We'll see, yeah? All right. And what it says, Sagittarius, is, be open to receive in a way to gain empowerment, strength, and all manner of assistance. Let me pull something up. <laughs> this is sitting, no joke. I'm not, I'm going to show you what's sitting above this. I just have to. You've got Lakshmi, bright future, right? Right underneath that, you've got sunstone, empowerment. And then you've got this one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You've also got receptivity, hey Thor, which is, I'm just going to show it to you. Oh my goodness. I hope you got goosebumps. I know I have. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you release these thoughts and feelings, the spaciousness will grow within you. Then you can receive more of what is rightfully meant for you, your divine good, in all ways. An open, sensitive person can easily become energetically and overloaded. From physical pain to emotional and psychological tension, an overload does not feel good. You may even feel like you're carrying others on your back or in your head. The added weight can drag your naturally light vibration down into anguish, doubt, fear, or despair. Your inner vision too may be obscured by the overload. This can make it hard to discern what is yours and what belongs to another. Whether experience overload in your system is an unusual occurrence for you, or you have a tendency to absorb and process others' energies, you will benefit from a spiritual cleansing. Afterwards, you may feel less inclined to connect with particular people or work on certain ideas, even if they seem very important before the cleanse. This means that you are freeing yourself from others' input and discerning the true priorities of your own heart. To accept a spiritual cleansing now, repeat the invocation below, we'll do it in a minute, and then relax for as long as you need. With the oracle card resting face down over, oh, we can't do that because it's mine, okay? But you can perhaps picture it, yeah? <laughs> love to picture it, imagine it. Because it basically says leave the oracle card laying on top of you or downwards, yeah, for spiritual cleansing. I'm going to say to you, just put your uh, put your hand over your heart chakra to do it, yeah? Your heart, here's your hand. Put it over your heart chakra here, yeah, underneath the heart, yeah? You can do it with two hands if you like. Um and rest for several minutes to half an hour, yeah, or more. If you fall, fall asleep during your cleansing, then you can allow for a deeper clearing. Pay attention. You can also lay with a crystal if you like, one of your favorite crystals. Um, perhaps I'm gonna to suggest to you, perhaps um, if you've got it, rose quartz or amethyst, yeah. 
If you fall asleep, yeah, we've done it. Pay particular attention to what you sense immediately after your cleansing. It is a time when you may become very aware of just who or what has been draining you and able to lovingly but firmly say, you must leave my energy field now and not return without my express verbal permission. Of my own free will, so be it. Okay, pulling something else up for you. Healthy boundaries, yeah. This oracle is also confirmation. For those of you that have been questioning if a relationship, person or situation has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field, your insights are correct. And you can now use this energy clearing process to remove the cords of attachment and release any negative energy from that person or situation. All right, if you've seen me do this before in Reiki, how we cut the cords of attachment, yeah, we think of the person or situation, yeah, and we get our two hands and we cross like that, straight across our body, which is going across our chakra, particularly our heart chakra, do it three times, yeah, and then also do it behind, so you take your arms behind you and do it like that, because your ego is behind, yeah, do it three times, that's how you clear the attachments, and the cords, you can do that as many times as you need to, yeah. Um, all right. The invocation says, I call upon unconditionally loving divine protection. The sacred chamber of light, the Merkaba of divine light is around me now. I choose of my own free will under divine authority and grace to release any and all connections, content and contaminants that do not serve me. Through unconditional love, I choose of my own free will to take my life journey in the most joyful and loving way possible. I open to divine grace for cleansing and protection of my integrity at all times. I am free to simply be in the truth of me now. May all beings be blessed and protected. May all beings be happy and free through my own free will. So be it. Wow. Some really cool messages there, Sagittarius. All right. If you like this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'd like a personal reading with me, don't forget. You know what to do, links on this video. And if you want to win that personal reading, head over to my blog, um, opt in. You go into the monthly draw, yeah? You'll also get some great content from me. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.